Welcome back to the garage. I recently picked up this monster fat. I've wanted to own a Fat City Cycles for some time, and when this one became available, I snatched it up quickly. I could tell that it was in need of some work when I picked it up. The seat post was seized. I took an old seat apart and clamped in the rails and then bolted the rails to my bench. I could then twist the frame to break the seat post loose. I should mention that I soaked the seat post in PB Blaster penetrating oil overnight before doing this. Here you can see all of the rust that came out of the seat tube. The fork needed some help too. It's a Franken fork. I think there are parts here from at least three different forks. Uh, the elastomers were dust, uh, other than the one chunk you can see here. I got it all clean and put some parts from a functioning fork into it to make it work. I would just replace the fork altogether, but it's hard to find a decent fork with a one inch steer tube. Once everything was apart, I grabbed my 91 Zaskar frame for comparison. The Zaskar is obviously aluminum and more lightweight. It's also incredibly stiff with the triple triangle and has a more harsh ride. Uh, the Zaskar will only take a U-brake, but it has a one and an eighth inch head tube. Uh, the Monster Fat has a longer top tube, which I feel gives it better overall geometry. In fact, in 91, that was the first year that the Monster was based on the Yoeti rather than the Wicked. It has a one inch head tube, but it also has traditional brake bosses that will fit cantilever or V-brakes. Feel free to argue in the comment section as to which frame you think is better. I started working on this bike once I got back from a ride, so I'm a little muddy. the headset was in good shape other than the grease being dried out I didn't want to have to track down a new one inch headset so that was good
These cranks are kind of cool, XTR M900, and they're at a 180 millimeter length. The middle chain ring was in bad shape. I have this black Biopace chain ring in my stash. I think it's Biopace. It might be an off-brand. It's an oval chain ring, uh, so I put that on. If you're paying attention, you'll notice that the thumb shifters are seven speed and I have an eight speed cassette on the wheel. On this particular pair of thumb shifters, you can flip a switch and go from indexed to friction. While it's in friction mode, it can easily work as an eight speed shifter.
I need to put some handlebar end plugs on it. I've ordered a new chain and cool stop brake pads. I always enjoy reading your comments. Um, it gives me encouragement to keep making videos. So give me a thumbs up if you liked it or smash that thumbs down button if you hated it. Either way, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks.